This is part 2 of CCMA 2.6 Cisco Wireless Architectures and AP Modes. The third wireless design is the cloud-based architecture. Cloud-based wireless architecture refers to a wireless network infrastructure where the management and control plane of the network are hosted in the cloud rather than on-premise hardware controllers. Here are the key aspects of cloud-based architecture. First is centralized management. A cloud-based controller is accessible via a web interface, provides a single point of management for all access points, regardless of their physical location. Next is simplified deployment. Cloud-based solutions often offer a zero-touch provisioning where APs automatically connect to the cloud and self-configure, making deployments easier and faster. Next is reduced hardware cost. Organizations don't need to purchase and maintain physical controllers at each location, reducing upfront cost and ongoing maintenance. There's also the enhanced flexibility. Cloud-based wireless LANs provide greater flexibility, allowing for easier management of geographically dispersed networks and simplified configuration changes. Cisco supports two cloud-based designs. The Cisco Meraki and Cisco Catalyst Cloud Controller. Let's start with Cisco Catalyst Cloud Controller. The Cisco Catalyst Cloud Controller is designed for cloud deployments. The Virtual Catalyst Wireless Controller has a virtual image that can be deployed in a private or public cloud, which is a cloud-ready virtual WLC running on VMware ESXi, KVM, or public cloud providers like AWS or Azure. This example shows a high level of a cloud-based WLC design in Amazon AWS. Cloud-based wireless architectures, while offering advantages, can also present disadvantages, including latency. If deployed in a remote cloud environment, far from the access points, potentially affecting roaming and real-time applications. Another disadvantage is downtime and outages. Cloud providers can experience outages, leading to disruptions in the wireless network and potential loss of access to services. And a main concern is also security risk. Cloud controllers process traffic in the cloud environment outside the organization's network, which makes it more susceptible to hacking and data breaches, potentially exposing sensitive information. Another Cisco cloud-based design is Cisco Meraki. Cisco Meraki provides centralized control, security, and analytics for enterprise networks without requiring on-premise controllers. Cisco Meraki Wireless is a 100% cloud-managed solution where all configuration, monitoring, and management are handled through the Meraki dashboard. There is no need for an on-premise or virtual controller, as Meraki access points connect directly to the Meraki cloud for centralized control. The trade-off is that Meraki offers less customization and advanced control compared to Catalyst controllers, making it better suited for simpler deployments rather than complex, high-performance enterprise environments. Cisco wireless access points can operate in several modes, and we can configure them each with a specific purpose. The common modes include Local, Flex Connect, Monitor, Sniffer, Rogue Detector, Bridge or Mesh, and SE Connect. These are categorized into different modes. Client-serving modes are Local, Flex Connect, and Bridge or Mesh. And the network management and troubleshooting modes are Monitor, Sniffer, Rogue Detector, and SE Connect. Let's get started with Local Mode. This is the default and most common mode, where the AP directly serves clients and maintains a tunnel to the WLC. Next is Flex Connect Mode. Flex Connect mode allows a Cisco access point to keep serving wireless clients even if it loses connection to the wireless LAN controller. 
It's designed for remote sites or branch offices where the main controller is far away. When the AP is connected to the WLC, the WLC manages policies and configuration. If the link to the WLC goes down, the AP switches to standalone mode. When the WLC link comes back, the AP syncs again. Next is the bridge or mesh mode. It is used to create wireless bridges or mesh networks connecting separate wired networks or extending network coverage wirelessly. This is typically used in outdoor or large spaces where cabling is not feasible. Next are the network management and troubleshooting modes starting with monitor mode. The AP acts as a passive monitor analyzing the wireless spectrum and gathering data for troubleshooting without serving clients. All the AP models support this mode. The APs act as sensors to monitor the WLAN for intrusion detection system. Then there's sniffer mode. It's similar to monitor mode but with a focus on capturing and analyzing wireless traffic and forwards them to a packet analyzer using tools like Wireshark. When in sniffer mode, the AP will neither broadcast its SSID nor can connect a client to itself. This mode is useful in troubleshooting and analysis. Next is rogue detector mode. In this mode, the AP is dedicated to detecting rogue access points and unauthorized devices within the network's vicinity. The detection is done by comparing MAC addresses on the LAN with those on the WLAN to detect a rogue device entry. And last is the SE Connect mode. This mode is used with Cisco Spectrum Expert to gather information about the RF spectrum for troubleshooting and analysis. For a quick summary, here's a table to compare the different modes, their purpose, and use cases. Here are some exam tips. Know the differences between architectures. Match each AP mode to its use case. And focus on FlexConnect. It's very likely to appear and know that it still contacts the WLC for control, but can forward data locally. The three main Cisco wireless architectures. Protocol that lightweight APs use to communicate with the controller. Centralized management via WLC, easier scalability, and better security control. Uses the internet to manage APs remotely. AP mode that allows APs in branch offices to keep serving clients if the WLC link fails. AP mode that captures wireless packets for analysis. Default AP mode in Cisco Lightweight Deployment. AP mode used for wireless bridging between two wired networks.